All right. Yuri. Sakazaki. Now. Um, let's see. I started this video before, yesterday, but then I got interrupted like twice. So I'm like, okay, this is not good enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Uh, one quick announcement is that KOF 14 is coming to Steam. Um, you can pre-order right now, and for the full game, all the uh, characters is sixty bucks. Um, because I am a poor student, I have decided not to buy it yet. I will soon. Ugh. Anyway, uh, it actually comes out in like four weeks or something like that. It's like uh, what, what, what is it? Twentieth. I think it, I'm pretty sure it comes out the 15th of June. Um, so, <coughs> um, again, Tekken 7 is coming to Steam June 2nd or 1st. Um, so, don't expect too much of this game after that point. Um, I'll be playing a lot of Tekken 7, and I, um, after KO 14 comes out, hopefully, I'll be playing a lot of KO 14. Assuming it's not a buggy piece of crap like this game was when it first launched. <laughs> so, anyway. <coughs> oh, God. Yiri. Um, as an overview, she's pretty hard, actually. Uh, she's one of the more difficult characters characters in the game, but she's not the most difficult. She's somewhere like in the middle, maybe like above the average in terms of difficulty. Um, that's just my opinion though. I have trouble with this character and I don't know why. Um, however, the, the next character that, I, that I'm going to cover is Wajai and he is extremely difficult. So, Anyway, um, as far as the character, how she's built, uh, she's kind of, she's really good. Um, at occupying the space around her, like, in her immediate vicinity. Uh, this move is really good, this move is really good. This covers the horizontal range. Um, but she, she doesn't have any good pokes. Like, nothing she has goes very far. This goes to about here. And that's it. C doesn't go anywhere. Hard punch doesn't go anywhere. Jab, light kick. Sweeps pretty good. Stupid hard kick are both pretty good. This, I mean, there are characters with, with, with much, much higher range. Um, what she has is she's really good at controlling very specific parts of, um, of the screen, specifically this, that range right there. Um, but what she has to complement that is a very fast run speed and really good jumps and good ways to alter her jump arc like this. Uh, so she's very mobile. She is, she is uh, quite low range, but she's very mobile, so the range doesn't really matter. Um, her damage output is pretty good. Uh, I would say it's almost dead average for most of her uh, theater usage. But, uh, <coughs> because of this like little dead zone range right here, um, you really don't want to be here. Th th this is the range that you don't want to be at with her, except for, like, nothing with her hits here except for Fireball or, like, EX Command Grab, you know? Like, there's not much that she has that's, that's excellent at this range. Um, so, you really have to play her, you know, in the opponent's face or away, you know, at, like, hop range. Like, she can just hop at you. Um, you, you can play her in one of two ways, basically. You can play her the tricky 
guess when I'm going to go on, on on offense way, or you, you can play the, I'm going to guess when you're going to try and, and jump at me with, 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 with Saihas, or run, run at me with Firelands, basically. Uh, you can play her defensively with these moves, or you can use her, uh, you can uh, mess with the opponent's reactions with, with, with her, with her uh, high kick, and with her demon foot move. And with EX, EX, uh, by uh, she, she has the ability to play with, with, with her opponent in very strange ways. I will get into those when I get to those moves, but, um, uh, as far as normals, uh, standing A, her A normals are pretty bad. Um, um let's see. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go with a different format in this video. I, um, normally I would use, I would go standing normals. Crouching normals, um, but th this time I'll, I'm just gonna go A B C D. Uh, so tell me how you like it. Um, her A normals are pretty bad. They don't go anywhere. Um, they function. Come on. Bad. It's really cold here, so excuse me. They, they they can function as anti as um, anti hops, um, but her standing light kick is just straight up better. Um, like, this, this is just like a better version of this. It, it goes further. It goes higher. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about this move except this is minus one on block. This is plus one on block, but this is plus three on block. So I mean. Anyway, crushing light kick is plus three on block. It, it does hit low, and you can chain it. And this is basically your your main chain with Gitter. Is crouch B, crouch B, stand B. Um, there's not much else to say except it's just a straight up improvement on her jabs or her light kicks like her jabs don't go anywhere but her light kicks are much further range and this hits low and they do more damage because they're kicks like th there's really no reason to use jabs except to like fake out your run-ups i guess but even then you would probably want to use light kicks in case they like jump at you <coughs> Uh, hard punch. Far hard punch is... Mm, it covers a different angle than her light kick does. It's pretty fast. It's six frames. But it's still pretty bad. It's not cancelable. Except in, um, in, in the HD, obviously. But, uh... Like, it's not... It's not... It... I'm sure you can find a use for it. But it's like... It's not very useful to me, in, at least. Um, as far as close hard points though, this is a four, f yeah, this is a four frame normal. Four frames. And you can, uh, you can, um, cancel it into various things that, that won't combo from lights, like, that won't combo from lights. Wow. But this will combo from heavies. And close hard punch it is one is uh, one of your heavy hitting options. Uh, another one is crouch hard punch, which is actually three frame startup. So this this is actually useful, if, um, especially in links like this one. You know, um, it can anti air, but I don't I don't really use this as anti air. I use light kick. And light uppercut um, as anti-airs, but you you can't anti-air with it. It doesn't. It's it's it, it's not as good as like Eoris or like m Matures and Billies are really good. Um, I use this one instead, or close hard punch to anti-air. Uh, but really, all you need is light uppercut. Uh, I only use this in to, like frame trap or string. Um, 
Hard kick. This is a really good poke. This is, I don't think it's our furthest range normal. I'm pretty sure it's right here. Yeah. But, um, it's really good. It, it's, it's like light kick, but it goes a little bit further and it's a little bit slower. Uh, so if they're jumping at you from like this range, maybe light kick won't won't work and you'll, you'll need to use hard kick. Um, crushing hard kick is actually cancelable. That's really good, uh, especially after pokes like this, like, like that. Um, that. That's not a bad idea to, uh, to throw out sometimes. <laughs> Don't jump. Um, it's only six frames. It's, it, it's, it, it's really fast for the range it reaches, and for a, for a character that's not supposed to have really good range. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, now, she has a command normal. Well, let's talk about CB first. Um, this move... This move hits at a very similar angle to light kick, but a little bit higher. Um, but in reality, it actually has a massive hitbox on it. Like, it shouldn't hit from here, but it does. Like, it just... It doesn't make any sense sometimes. Like, the range it hits is stupid. Um, including above her, it's just... This movie is kind of Like, it shouldn't be hitting things that it does. Like that. It should not be hitting- well... Let's talk about range here. Like that. Like, what is this? What is this? It doesn't make any sense. Like, it should not be hitting from certain ranges, and it it, it, it just kind of beats everything. Um, it's like a slow version of Makoto Stand Medium Punch. <laughs> it, 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 it just kind of beats things for no reason. And it's plus three on block, so you can frame trap with it as well. Um... As far as forward light, or forward light punch, this is an overhead. So blows, eyes, forward light punch, just an overhead. Um, unfortunately, it's always minus, assuming you use it point blank, including on hit. This is minus on hit. Mi minus on hit. Let's see if I can show this one. If you just use it point blank range, it's not gonna give you anything after it. And in fact, some kids can punish you. I'm pretty sure it's minus three. Minus three, I think. Let me check this. Make sure I'm not lying to you. Minus three on hit. However, what you, what you can do is, is you can actually space this. Okay. So it'll look like this. A oh, little, little further away. And then if you space it, you're plus like four or five. Or three or four, I guess. You can combo after that, okay? So that's kind of what, what you can use for. Or you can also knock him down and try and, and use a me. Like that. Those are two ways to get combos off of it. Um, let's see, next. Oh, if you if you do use it at, at, at point blank range, there's only one thing that it's cancelable into. That is. Neo Max. Um, you can't cancel any, any, anything else because it's air, because it's, it, 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 it's actually airborne. Uh, she does have airborne special moves, but it doesn't cancel in the, in there, um, except while in HD. Um, let's see. Jumping normals, yeah. Uh, so. As far as jumping normals go, uh, they're all good. Like, I can't say one thing about each of them that, like, 
I can't tell you when to use which one, honestly, because they 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 all cross up. They're all really good. Um, as far as speed, light kick is actually four frame startup. It's one of the fastest jumping normals in the game. Um, like there's just. I, I really can't like say which one's the best because they're all good. Um, the only, wow, that, that was lag. Uh, the only thing that I can say is look at what they look like and like mess around with them and see when you might want to use one over the other. Um, like Light Kick has the most horizontal range. CD has the most block stun. Uh, jab is cancelable if they air special moves. Or a dive kick. Like, eat, eat. Uh, let me do this. I don't think so. Let me block. No. Yeah. Just like, uh, just like punch is actually possible into dive kick. So, um. As far as her dive kick goes, however, this is very good. Check this out. If I hit the very top of their heads with this, I, I still have frame advantage. Uh, this is just kind of ridiculously good. Um, and she can turn into it from Light Punch. Like... <sighs> you know how in Street Fighter, when, when you play a dive kick character, your goal is to like hit them as low to the ground as possible. Uh, you really don't have to worry about that. It's not it's not a one player game where it's like, oh, I'm aiming correctly. <laughs> you know, um, it's not about trying to hit their shins with it. It's about um, trying to hit them with it. Period. Um, because check out this angle, right? Like it's not very steep. It's not like a dive kick. In, in Street Fighter where you could just be like at half screen range and and full jump and then dive kick with, with hard kick dive kick and then you suddenly hit them in the shins and you have a plus advantage. Um, you need to be next to them. There's there's no like the, the thing to consider with with this move is yes it's really good advantage on, um, on block like a like a street street, uh, street Fighter uh, dive kick, except it doesn't have the same angle. You can't just jump up and do it. Like, of all the places on the screen to be, why are you 30 degrees downward from a Yuri? Like, that. You, you have so many ways to move in this game, there's no reason for them to just jump at you and hit this. Especially if you're not in the corner, then you can just backdash. Or, like say, uh, like say there's jumping up and and doing this. Like why? Why are you here? Like why? Run forward, backdash, jump. Like you you have so many options to to to, to sort of beat this or make it miss that it's not even funny. Like. People complain about this move because it's so, oh, he keeps canceling into it, and I can't, like, why are you where it hits? It doesn't hit very, it, I'm, I've been ranting too long, let me, let me uh, move on from this. Uh, lastly, you, you can do it, you can do it during a backdash, uh, it's not very useful, except to, like, fake him out. Um, her regular throw is a soft knockdown, but you, but she runs so fast that it, it really doesn't matter. You, you can still get meaty pressure pretty easily, especially if you do something like this. Um, in the corner, it's easier. Um, as far uh, she, she she does have an air throw. Let's see if I can air block it, not yet. Um, she, she has an air throw. Um, it throws him really far away. I think I'm going 
screen here. It throws him like full screen away. But you can still like super jump after it. So let me get a. You can just kind of super jump, and it's almost a, it's almost a a safe jump. It's not, but it's it's almost um, it's close enough, honestly. Um, however, if you're in the corner, you have a mix up here. Okay, if you super jump, you'll cross them up. You can do cross up hard kick. Let's get in the corner here. Maybe not cross the hard kick. Um, but what, what you can do is you can try and dive kick um, at a nice range. Let me get that guard here. All right, and if you hit the, if you hit, if you hit the, uh, the, the dive kick early, it won't cross up, but if you hit it late, it will. Like that. That that they did they they did have to block that cross up, so it's pretty good. And no matter where you hit them with this dive kick, you're always gonna be able to get something, including a, including a crouch hard punch, or at the least a, a uh, command grab. Um, let's see. Oh, also. She has a nasty mix-up off of this, which is Tiger and E E X Y open. Sometimes it crosses up, sometimes it doesn't. I think that one did did not cross up. But, um, you can combo it. Um, let's see. You can combo into this. Let's see if you can get into an actual example here. Yeah, here. You, you can combo into this if, um, if they're juggled high enough. Although you really don't see this too much with her. Uh, you, you can see this with like Mai or Clark. Um, often will combo into their air throws. However, she can do these out of her demon flip moves. So, um, anyway. That's it for her normals. Specials. Say ha. Is that a quarterback punch? Uh, this is meant to be used as like an anti air. Um, out, um, outside of juggles. This juggles really high. Let me just show this here. This is a really good juggle move. Like, if you hit with the EX one. You just kind of juggle like 20 of them in Um, <laughs> yeah. Come on. Um. However, if you know that they're going to jump, you can just kind of throw this out there, and it, it, and it will catch them. Assuming that you are right. And then if you do hit him with it, have the option. Super. You you could. Uh, they do grant full full juggle. So, um, and that's for the hard punch version, which actually moves her forward slightly as well. Um, the light punch version is faster on startup, but it's terrible. It's it's pretty bad. It doesn't juggle as high, and it takes longer to recover. So you really can't. Maybe level one super like. Uh, this is... I don't ever use the light version of this move, ever. Me, personally, I don't. Um, I'll, I'll use the hard punch version in combos and to, like, anti-air. Uh, EX version is really useful in combos because... Uh, oh, as far as combos go... The light version... Will combo off of lights, but the hard version is way too slow to combo off of anything except juggle states. 
like, like drive kicks it kind of um, However, the EX version. It's too slow to combo off of lights, but it will combo off of heavies. And again, your 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 three options here are close hard punch, close hard kick, and crouch hard punch. Which that reminds me, I didn't uh, I, I didn't talk about close hard kick. Um, this is a very meaty normal. You can hit it as they're getting up, and it'll like I believe you can get this to be like plus five or something on block. It's pretty good. Like that. Um, anyway. It is slower than, than Hard Punch. So I believe it's 5 frames. Close Hard Kick is 6 frames. Close Hard Punch is, is 4 frames. Anyway. Back, back to this thing. Uh, this is going to be your main damage tool for a bar. Assuming you can get a heavy hitting hit. Or like I said, a heavy normal. Um, that's really it for Saiha. It's basically an anti-air or a juggle tour in the corner. Let's see. Token. Hello, Ken. Um, light version's fast, but it doesn't go anywhere. Hard version steps forward and goes further, but it's slower. And it, and it, and it juggles higher. Like, light version, nothing. I will show the game. Any version, you can't really combo off of it. Hard version, yes you can. And it goes further, it goes to about here. Um, EX version goes really far. And is really fast. It's actually faster than the light version. I'm trying to find a range here. There we go. Okay. Right here, uh, a little closer. Right there's max range. Oh, almost. A little closer, right there. And if you do hit with this, you can super. Actually, I didn't check this. Let me check this real fast. Oh, yeah. Block it. Okay. Um, nothing special there. Let's see. And basically, th this is meant to be her poke from this range because she doesn't have anything else. That's all she has. Um, EX1 goes further. Light one's faster from this range. Like, that's really all it's used for is as, is, um, as a poke or a combo tool. So, like, say say you're you're standing at, at this range and you think they're gonna like try and and get offense. If, um, if you think that, that, that they're going to jump at you, you, you can use Saiha. If you think that they're going to run at you, you can use Koken. That's, that's a very simple game plan right there. Next move is actually for Command Cry. And the light version... Well, 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 first of all, the light and hard versions look similar. But, but they are different on startup. The, the light kick version is, is a one frame command grab. One frame. And the hard kick version is a run grab. So she'll like stop for a second there. Like she like she like hesitates, see? Uh, I believe it's a nine frame hesitation. Let me check this out. Or eight frames, I guess. It's 16, I guess, or 12. I don't know. 11. It's it's something. Uh, she she like hesitates and then starts to run at you, and uh, then if if um if she gets to you, she'll grab you. It's the exact same grab as the light punch version, or yeah, the light kick version. Um, and you can drive cancel these for more damage. That was loud. Yeah. Um, as far as the EX version goes, this is not a grab. This is a hit. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, 
EX Hangetsu Zon, where it's like you just kind of throw it out sometimes, and if it hits, great, you get 100 damage. Um, it is unscaled damage, by the way. However, when it does hit, you cannot drive cancel on it. Okay. Also, oh, I thought you couldn't do that. Drive cancel this move into the quarter punch is really hard. Yeah, you have to time it right. That's really weird. Anyway. Um, let's see. Where was I? EX can I grab? This is exactly 100 damage, and then it's always 100 damage. It is unscaled damage. So you can end your combos with it, and, and it is a hard knockdown. Um... Usually her super is going to end up doing more damage, but they can quick roll that, so it's, it, it, uh, so it, it's not a hard knockdown. Um, so you, 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 you kind of have the, the, the choice of using this or, or her super to, to trade off uh, damage for uh, a hard knockdown. Uh, this is punishable on block. It's like minus 16 or something. Minus, minus 12. Um, but you can't try to cancel. See? Uh, so you're kind of locked in. <laughs> so, so to speak. Basically, you use it from this range as like an ancient poke that they can't really react to. It's only, it's only, it's only eight frame startup. So hey, it's really hard to punish too. Like, it's minus twelve, but it's way over here, right? So you know. Anyway, uh, next move is actually Cello Up. Uh, hey, what's it called? It has two, it has two names. Kuga Yuri Cello Up. Um, anyway, the light version is really good. It's five frames startup and it's completely invincible to everything. Uh, so you can use it as a wake up option, you can use it as an anti air, you can use it to counter frame traps. It's really good. Um, hard punch version is not invincible. It might have like a little bit of upper invincibility, and it, but it, it moves her really far forward. Uh, so you can't really anti air with it. Hard punch version is fine, but hard version will tend to like go underneath them. Same with the EX version. Um, the, as far as the EX version goes, it is 7 frames startup, and it hits like a bunch of times. Really shay! Um, obviously these are all terrible on block. Um, so basically you only ever use the hard punch version and combos. I never use the X version ever, except except to like confirm like that, like that. that, that that's it. Um, however, the the, the the light punch version is really fast. It can be used as an anti air, etc., etc. Um, let's see. Next move, Ryoken. Uh, so there, this move can be done in the air. Um, as far as the ground version goes. The light kick version just kind of hops and throws a fireball. The hard kick version jumps and throws a fireball. Um, I don't ever use these ever, honestly. Um, the EX version hops forward and throws, I believe, three of them. This can actually cross up, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we can get him to block this. Like that, man, I cross up. Probably not, actually. But. 
the air versions are different. When you jump and use the light kick version, you stop in the air, and then you, you throw it and then fall straight down. When you, uh, when you throw the hard kick version, you just keep going. And when you throw the EX version, you keep going, but you throw it, but you throw it like three of them again. Ah, oh, excuse me. Ah, one very useful technique is, is to tie your knee to the EX one. This is really good, As, um, especially at, at this range. It'll actually cross them up. Um, let's see. So again, another really, really good um, mix-up here in the corner if they jump is air grab into The ground version will keep you in, in front, whereas if you, if you tie your knee it, you'll end up, uh, you'll end up behind him. Anyway, one more move, there's actually like 20 moves, but the demon foot move, um, if you press a kick out of this, you'll get dive kick. Um, if you press a punch out of this, you'll get this move. If you press uh, both punches, you get a grab. And if you press... Well, you, you can do air railguns during this. Except they're all the same, I think. I'm pretty sure that they're all the same. Um, if you do kick you'll you, you'll stop in the air and, um, and then fall straight down and you can't do the ex version um, as for which flip to use the light kick version goes like up and the hard kick version goes out the ex version goes really far out um, and normally dive kick isn't an overhead even during demon flips, it's not. But for some reason, I don't know why, during the EX flip it is. I, I really don't know why. It, it, it makes no sense to me. You, you can just kind of do this. Like that. There we go. And it's, it's kind of stupid. Um, anyway, um, also when you do the Ryokin out of this, it will become the EX Ryokin for free. You, you don't need two bars for this. Why is that so long? See, I use one bar and got both EX Flip and um, EX Ryokin. Anyway. Um, this can be used to like cancel certain types, like that. Um, you'll see this actually used a lot in combos. The flip move. Um, as for details on all of its um, all of its follow-ups, uh, dive kick is identical to to the to the regular dive kick, except the EX one is overhead. Um, the punch version looks similar to her jump hard punch, but it's not really, um, because if they're jumping, jump hard punch is a reset, but demon flip hard punch is a juggle. Um, and her air grab is almost the same as her regular air grab, except it'll actually hit on grounded opponents and on even crouching opponents. So it's pretty good.
pretty good. Uh, no. Oh, if they're blocking it, it doesn't work. Because they're in... Because they're in, uh... They're in, uh... Proximity guard from... Oh, what the heck? It does work. Huh? <laughs> okay. That's awkward. Anyway, um, normally you can't aggro people on, on the ground, but if you do the flip, you can. Uh, it's really fast, maybe the EX version as well. It's really fast. Um, right, what else? I think that's it. Punch, kick, double punch. I'm gonna fix a typo in my notes. <laughs> it's annoying me. Uh, okay. I think that's it for the demon stuff. That's it for her special moves. Supers! How old? How Shokoken is an 18 frame fireball. The light one goes slow, the hard one goes fast. Um, it's pretty bad. Uh, really only use it they like. Like, if they're throwing fireballs. From, from full screen, you can react and, and try and punish, but it's pretty slow. It's 18 frames startup, and and it has to actually travel there as well. So, um, as far as following it up, you really can't. You have you know, a really really long recovery window. So it's I don't ever use this except on accident, really, um, or maybe sometimes to blow through. Uh, certain things, but it's not very useful, um, in my opinion. However, Hien... Hien Ho Cha... is actually pretty useful. It does 15s and then 55. They have a long combo, it does nines, and it does an unscaled 55 damage, that's pretty good. Um, however, um, it's 11 frame startup, and it's not invincible, so like, if you try to anti with this, it's not going to work. Like, you're just going to get a hit out of it. However, the EX one is only 7 frame star and it is completely um, invincible. And it grants a hard knockdown. And it's actually an unscaled uh, 100. Yeah. It, it's an unscaled 100 damage, so it's a lot more damage, but it's actually pretty useful. Um, how old I Oaken? Technically, it's startup is 4 frames. But it's four frames right there, you know? So it's actually slower. Um, you can actually k punish very specific things with this. Um, but other than that, I really don't use it. You know, you, you can do this, but it's not, eh. You can use it in combos, but because uh, because it's scaled damage, not unscaled damage, you really don't see it too often. Um, Compared to your EX round, or EX. Tien Ho Chaku. Chesto! Now, that's all her moves. 40 minutes? 45. Um, combos. Um, as far as starters, you have a couple of options. That's your biggest one right there. No confirm. Um, however, if you wanted to, you could link, you, you could link this, um, or you could link this. Like that. Uh, that's not very useful though. One, because it's harder. And two, because you actually don't get EX Psy Hog off of this. 
is kind of the point. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, if you wanted, oh, also this is a, is a I guess a starter. Um, you can also do this. This is a hit confirm. One low B. Hit confirm into light grab. Uh, this is a very good way to practice uh, hit confirming. It, it's it's really really fast. Let's just get into the combos here. Um, <laughs> my nose. Let's get some more water here. Uh, for no meter, really you only have two options. If you chain perfectly, you can go in um, into the command grab. If you don't chain perfectly, come on. don't chain perfectly then you can go into the heavy uppercut although the that gives you a hard knockdown mix up so you kind of want to use the, the grab as, um, as much as, as much um, as you can and and and, and it, uh, it does more damage from 79 hard knockdown as opposed to 68 not a hard knockdown um, now, if, if you want to spend a bar, you want to go into the uppercut, or 229, or if you somehow land a hard, a, uh, hard punch, you can go into EX Saiha, and then Demon Flip. Hard kick, demon flip. As you're coming down, hit punch. And then from here, you actually have two options. You can go. Um, you can hit a button. But, uh, you can go. You can uppercut again. Or, if you're really, really good, you, you, you can do this. I forgot to mention this. Okay, let me just do awesome bottom punch. Um, you can do standing hard punch canceled into the, the another uh, flip, and then hit both punches to get the air grab. And the air grab actually has anywhere juggle. Okay. Um, so again. That look like this. Oh. oh, this misses on crouching. <laughs> I forgot about that. Is that my notes? Oh, it is. It um, if you chain in, if you chain into it, it'll work. Like. Anyway, back, back to combos here. Uh, it's gonna drive. Oh, one more thing. You can also do something like that. Uh, just just to get like um, a really good reset off of it. Although you do sacrifice some damage for doing that. Anyway. For a drive, it's, the, it's exactly the same except instead of going into EX Saiha, you go into the grab or the or the or the uppercut. So that looks like this, and then you have the um, exact same scenario as before, where you can do uppercut again, or you can do a. Uh, I'm normal cancelled into the demon flip again. Um, let's see. 
That's it for the Michigan combos that I have down, although there's some others. Um, in the corner, you have the same meaningless combos as mid screen. Just go into uppercut or command grab. Um, for a bar, the this thing is the same. Or you can go into EX grab or um, EX uppercut or EX grab for the hard knockdown. Um, however, off of headies. You actually get a massive juggle here. You get... Um, you get this. Okay, so... This is... EX Saiha. Heavy Saiha. Heavy Koken. And then... Standing Hard Punch Normal. Or Standing Hard Kick. It, it, it doesn't matter. Or crouching hard punch. You, you have options. Um, or you can um, again go for the meaty dive kick. Um, for a drive, you want to learn how to come with this move. Wow. And then Saiha, token, hard punch, air grab, mix up. Um, if you want to spend a bar and a drive, you can do this. Whoops. Sci high. Super. Oh, uh, that's... Uh, let's see here. Whoops. Super is three... It's 420. Um... Or EX Command Grab, where 366, which is a lot of damage actually, but then you, you still get the the hard knockdown. So. Um, off of heavies, same thing except, uh, well, let's see how huh? hold on. Cancel the heavy uppercut into into heavy Saiha. Punch, and then same thing um, as usual, and that's all the combos I have down here. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, HD combos. You have a, um, a couple of options. Uh, let's see. Before I talk about how to start a combo, I'm going to talk about how to end a combo. Or no. Other way around. Other way around. Before I, I talk about um, any one full combo, I, ne I need I need to talk about how to start the combo. If you're in the corner, if you're like, uh, let's see, right, right about here. If you're, if you're um, anywhere here or closer to the corner, you can do this. Um, if, if you're not in the corner, then that fireball will, will, will miss. It's like right about here. And you two of the, this this combo is basically hard punch, hard punch, hard punch, hard punch. Uh. Let me see if I can not suck. Yikes. Okay, that's the combo right there. Uh, is heavy, 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 heavy. Okay, so it's I can't speak well, 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 well combo right here. So it's HD, close hard punch, heavy uppercut drive cancel into heavy fireball. Which that motion is really easy. It's just it, it's it's just this. It's just DP fireball. All went. Ugh, God. All on motion. Do, do, do that twice. 
on the third one go into Saiha instead. And then fireball. And then, and then it just loops twice. All heavies. All heavies. This uppercut is a light uppercut. Cancel. Oh, wow. Heavy, 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 light, heavy. What? Oh, heavy, heavy. Ah, come on. Heavy, 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 heavy. Uh, whatever. You you get the point, I think. Um, on the last uppercut, right right before your drive meter runs out, you need to do a light uppercut instead. And then heavy sci ha, heavy fireball. Ah, uh, let's see. Um, if you're mid screen, however, you have to do something different. You need to carry them to the corner, um, and you you can do this with this drive cancel. It is light uppercut drive cancel to heavy demon flip, and then hard punch or light punch on the way down. Over and over again, a maximum of three times. Once they're in the corner, you just do light uppercut into the same combo as before, except you do less reps of it. So that'll look like this. Ow, I missed the button. <laughs> Too far away. We'll try it from like a little bit out of the corner. There you go. That's what your uh, full screen combo would look like. If you're like right here, then you only need then you only need to do to to, to do two reps. Like this. I hate that. This is what you you would do from from, from uh, this range. Like that. That's what you would do. Slightly less damage, but you need to carry them. Um, if you only need to do one rep, like this. Um, actually, I really don't think there's a good combo here. One rep. You can try that. Hold on. Try this. Okay. Let me think. Try this. Why did it again? <laughs> Two anyway. <laughs> wow, I'm bad. Uh, 
Anyway, enders. Uh, so I've been using the no meter ender, so all that is 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 you end in a is you end in a hard punch, deep move flip, punch punch. Um, again, you could go for the dive to three side as well. Um, for one bar, you would just use uh, either super or ex run grab instead of the hard punch. For two bars, you would use ex super. And for three bars, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I only ever use two bars with her because her two bar combos are really good. Like, check the damage out. You know what? I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough anyway. <laughs> uh, that's, ooh, that was loud. Um, that's all my notes. That's it. That's all I have. That was an hour long. High encoding. Hopefully this isn't like the stun video where it lags out like crazy. Probably is. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, I might have to end take this video. If, 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 if it's too bad. But that's the end. Um, just a summary. Playing as Yuri, uh, try and be tricky on your offense and only jump in sometimes. Uh, you, you know, you, utilize the fact that you can just kind of jump up and dive kick and they can't anti-air you. Um, when you. When you are up close, try canceling into the into the the demon uh, the, 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 the demon flip dive kick. Like that. Ooh. Like that. Um, and just be really creative with in, in in how you um you, you use your offense and try to use cross up dive kicks as best as you possibly can. Playing against a Yuri, you need to learn how to move. You move a lot because she only has very specific ranges where she's actually really good. So as the, the Yuri player, you, you want to move to get into the spaces, and as a Yuri, or um, uh, against a Yuri, you would want to uh, move a lot to try and avoid them, you know? Um, as for dealing with this stuff, let's see. Um, if, if they're doing stuff like this, where they like, uh... If they're doing this, that's not guaranteed. anti -air that. Jump it. Run underneath it. Back dash, like... Uppercut. You have 20 options to beat this. Don't complain. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I've ran it too much. Get us out of here. <laughs>